10. Julius Caesar, 1953. IMDb 7.2, 10. Immortal characters, portrayed by the finest talents of our day. With flawless performance, they recreate Caesar's role. <laughs> the struggle for power, the clash of arms. Nine Gladiator, two thousand IMDb eight point five ten. Who is he? Will you move your helmet and tell me your name? My name is Gladiator. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. Today I saw a slave become more powerful than the Emperor of Rome. They said you were a giant. I shall cheer for you. At my signal, unleash hell. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Eight Life of Brian, nineteen seventy nine, IMDb eight point zero ten. Everyone knows the glorious story of the child born in a faraway manger. Well, this isn't that story. This is Monty Python's all-new Life of Brian. Hey, big old Brian. He was born into the golden age of Roman rule. Do you have any crucifixions today? 139, sir. Special celebration. It was a time of miracles. I was blind, and now I can see. Oh! Friendly persuasion and gracious invaders. But there was just one thing on everyone's mind. <laughs> sex, 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 that's all I think about her. <laughs> oh dear. In those days, getting stoned wasn't against the law. It was the law. <laughs> and things looked bad for the people of Jerusalem. Still a few crosses left. Until Brian dropped in. He was a born leader. Brothers, brothers, we should be struggling together. We are. A potential martyr. What would they do to me? Oh, you'll probably get away with crucifixion. Crucifixion? Yeah. First offense. And his mother's joy. Are you telling them? They think I'm the Messiah, Mum. <laughs> the Messiah! There's no Messiah in here. There's a mess all right, but no Messiah. And now, it's up to Brian to deliver a despairing nation from the throes of oppression. <laughs> Tough luck, Jerusalem. This is the life of Brian. 
just when you thought you were saved. It's Monty Python's Life of Brian. He wasn't the Messiah. He was a very naughty boy. Terrific race, the Rovers. Terrific. Seven. Ben Hur, 1959. IMDb 8.1. We will rise again. The day Rome falls, there will be a shout of freedom such as the world has never heard before. I believe in the past of my people and in their future. You're a conquered people. Kill me and your mother and sister will die today. Oh, God, Judah. May God grant me vengeance. I don't believe in miracles. Oh, life is a miracle. I should kiss you goodbye. Oh, Judah. My people are praying for a man who can drive their team to victory over Messala. You could be that man. My earliest memory of my dad is from the set of Ben Hur. The one that really stands out in my mind is he used to give me rides in the chariot. How could that not stick in the memory of a young man? If you stay here, you will find yourself part of this tragedy. I am already part of this tragedy. This is the day. Six. History of the World. Part 1. 1981. IMDb 6.8. 10. Naked dawn of man to the magnificence of the Bible. The Lord Jehovah has given unto you these 15, <laughs> 10, 10 commandments. From the glory that was Rome yeah, uh, to the dark evils of the Spanish Inquisition. For now begins the Inquisition. Oh, yeah, come on. To the French Revolution with its squalor and its splendor. The peasants may grow violent. They are my people. I am their sovereign. I love them. Paul! <laughs> History of the World, Part 1, starring... It's good to be the king. More women! More wine! More! I and submit to the king. Last one. Oh, that's let off! You beautiful way. Stop it. <laughs> Let's end this meeting on a high note. Hey, what country are you from? Ethiopia. What part? 125th Street. Oh. I'm Miriam. I'm a Vestal Virgin. I'm really sorry to hear that. You should have been here over 30 grains ago. Please ravage me. <gasps> Gee, I just ate. Drama. Do you require a blindfold? None. Have you any last words? None. Test. Dunk your key. Hold. Action. Romance. Say when? 8.30. Spectacle. The Inquisition. What a show. We know you're wishing that we go away. 
But the Inquisition's here and it's here to stay. Mel Brooks, History of the World, Part 1. Ten million years in the making. Five. A funny thing that happened in Wade Forum, 1966. IMDb 6.8, 10. you know i'd be a fine soothsayer if i didn't well there's a spirit in my house Science! <laughs> i'm about to say the sooth i've told you once i've told you a hundred times do not fan the girls when they're wet but you'll never learn you'll be a eunuch all your life Grace to my family. My father will turn in his grave. Your father is alive. This will kill him. climate in the world. Quo Vadis, 1951, IMDb 7.9, 10. Millions of persons have already seen and applauded MGM's mighty Technicolor spectacle. Nero's pagan Rome in all its dissolute splendor. The most wicked era of history comes to life. Three flaming love stories. The impassioned love of the pagan soldier for the beautiful Christian captive. The tragic love of the sultry slave girl for her master. The tortured love of cruel Nero for his wicked empress. Three hours of eye-filling enjoyment. Three years in the making. 30,000 in the cast. You'll never forget its unequal spectacle. You always remember its heart pounding drum. Three Spartacus, nineteen fifty one, IMDb six point eight ten. destroyed by Spartacus. Spartacus, a motion picture unequaled in the entire history of filmmaking, unlikely ever to be surpassed in the tenderness and beauty of its love story. Nothing was spared to make Spartacus the superb achievement it is. Neither time, nor money, nor talent. For in Spartacus, you will see the finest cast ever assembled relive history's most exciting and inspiring drama. Starring Kirk Douglas as Spartacus, slave, gladiator, invincible fighter. Laurence Olivier as Crassus, 
symbol of Rome's majesty and might. I'm not after glory. I'm after Spartacus. Gene Simmons is the slave Arinia, whose body was bought and sold, but whose love enveloped Spartacus with a radiance few men have known. Charles Lawton as Gracchus, the leader of the Roman Senate. Peter Ustinov as Batiatus, shrewd and devious dealer in human flesh. John Gavin as Julius Caesar, ambitious staff officer. And Tony Curtis as Antoninus, who loved Spartacus like a brother. In the powerful story of the gladiator rebel who sprang from slavery, to challenge the awesome might of Imperial Rome. The symbol of the Senate, all the power of Rome. I imagine a God for slaves, and I pray. What do you pray for? I pray for a son who will be born free. <laughs> Two, the Last Temptation of Christ, 1988, IMDb 7.5, 10. says he brings us a startling vision an extraordinary story the last temptation of Christ One, the Fall of Roman Empire, 1964, IMDb 6.7, 10. The Roman Empire at the height of its grandeur and its glory. A civilization so powerful it could never be conquered from without, yet it found the seeds of its destruction within itself. The fall of the Roman Empire. The fall of the Roman Empire. This is how it happened. This is where it was. The landmarks of history miraculously recreated to startle the modern world. The great forum of ancient Rome. The temple of Jupiter where the Caesars became gods. The mighty assembly of all the armies of the Roman Empire from Britannia to Africa, from Spain to the gates of Persia, to pay homage to the wisest Caesar of them all. Governors, consuls, princes, We've had to fight long wars. Your burdens have been great. 
But we come now to the end of the road. Here, within our reach, golden centuries of peace. The fall of the Roman Empire, a drama of ambition and greed, of treachery and violence, and the intimate story of a daughter of a Caesar whose love was sacrificed for the good and the glory of the Roman Empire. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Not learn to live without you. There is no life for either of us apart, Lucilla. You've defeated me, haven't you? Since it was for Rome, it cannot be your defeat. It's all so very clear now why you came to destroy me. I could kill you both! No, 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 sister, I'm not giving you any more chances to plot against me. You will go back to your husband in Armenia, and you will not see Rome or Livius again. The fall of the Roman Empire, the story of the age of emperors, revealing the mounting infamy of the times, the desperate ambush by the barbarians from the forests of the north, the duel to the death with javelins between the Caesar who was a god and the only man who dared defy him. Rome's relentless retribution against cowards who retreated in battle. The battle between the death-sworn Persian hordes and the human wall of Romans. The duel of the chariots. A breathtaking clash between fearless men. The most exciting thrill the camera has ever captured. 